you know, I didn't, I wouldn't say it's full blown morning sickness because I didn't throw up, but I, I felt nauseous and I kid you not. It was just ter It was just weird. my neighbor oh my gosh creeped me out hi guys welcome back to the zebra tribe fam welcome back to our channel yeah i just want to touch base on the videos that have been coming out in the past couple of days the whole ttc journey and my live pregnancy test results <coughs> yeah thank you guys for all the mad support that you all the support you've been showing and um and welcome on this journey with us it's kind of funny. Like, I guess the whole point of this video is to just talk about um, testing again, as well as finally getting, you know, I guess answers because it all this doesn't make like it doesn't make any sense. Like when I first started this TTC journey, talking about all my pregnancy symptoms that I was having, and guys, it just oh my gosh. Like I said, I wasn't gonna get emotional about it, and I'm not. I'm not trying to, because hey. Don't press it. Baby girl is right beside me. She's watching baby bum. What did you press? Okay, there. I have it so low. I hope it's okay for her. Let me show you guys her. Zoe. 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 Hey. <laughs> She's got so much attitude. I was experiencing all these symptoms and the whole point of me putting it out there is not to necessarily go, okay, I was, I'm pregnant. So, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant immediately, but it's really to kind of, I mean, I guess if I were to document it and to, to, so other women can see like, I don't know, we're all different, right? So some of our pregnancy symptoms may be very different than others. But this month I was like, I was feeling all these symptoms and that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, the answer that I got yesterday and the day before didn't make any sense but like I mean I don't know what can what can I do right uh today it's a different story I'm in a different place I've gotten answers and well yeah back to my symptoms I had so many different symptoms this month I feel like um I had and like I said if you're a dude this is probably not for you this is you know for the women like for the people the women who are interested in following my TTC journey and whatnot I mean you know but yeah I had like the sore boobs I felt nauseous this was, this was the weird the strangest one feeling nauseous out of nowhere I felt nauseous I couldn't even count like the first time it was kind of odd the second time it was kind of strange now the third and the fourth and the fifth the sixth time feeling nauseous just like that was just really really weird and it didn't get a, it wasn't accompanied by like throwing up or anything so it wasn't it didn't feel like I don't know I didn't I wouldn't say it's full-blown morning sickness because I didn't throw up but I I felt nauseous and I kid you not it was just tear it was just weird and don't press stuff Zoe you're gonna <sighs> Zoe stop oh, you want to hear it huh there hopefully you guys can't hear that in the background but yeah um i felt all those symptoms i really don't want to get hit with no copyright strike uh what else did i feel i felt super bloated but i mean that could have come with christmas time eating a lot of food but it was just weird because i felt like i said i felt it and then i felt nauseous on top of it it was just I don't know. I was tr and I'm. I was trying really hard not to be in my head, to be like, okay, this is the month. Um, but now I'm just like, oh. <sighs> I'm not sad or anything. Nor am I really disappointed because I did explain to you guys like I feel like when you're TTCing, it's not. A TTCing means you're actually trying, so you will make efforts to go, you know, go out of the way, and that's what we're, I feel like this is the real month, so what you saw was like cycle day, cycle one, however, cycle one was kind of just, it was just kind of like all over the place, so for cycle two, I will really be trying, but, uh, 
I don't know. I've been hearing some questions about me still nursing and the baby and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm not even going to talk too much about it in this video, but I'm going to do my research to see the fact that I'm nursing. Because every other time when I was pregnant, I was nursing when I got pregnant. So I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But I just wanted to touch base and say, tell you guys thank you and let you guys know that I've gotten the answers that I've been looking for. Like I said before, it made absolutely no sense. But feeling nauseous and feeling all those symptoms, but I actually, it makes sense now. Well, I don't know. That part does still does not make any sense, but Aunt Flo is here. So that's the part that can kind of, like, I feel like I finally have an, a real answer because Aunt Flo is what can solidify. I know there are women out there that can get like for real legit pregnancy negatives and they can still be pregnant. I'm not going to be, you know, like that but I'm just saying there are people out there that have gotten negative and there are people who out there don't test until a little bit later and they could st you know what I mean they got negatives what the heck is that I have something on the stove but that was weird but there are people that get that test negative and they can and it still can be positive so you know I I mean after taking yesterday's test I kind of just I felt like okay I'm out of it like I'm just I'm out for this cycle. So you guys, for those of you who are following me on this TTC journey, definitely follow, stick around and follow me for um, TTC, for, for my cycle. Oh my gosh, real life. But yeah, follow me on this journey. Like I will be posting my live, live pregnancy tests on for cycle two to let you guys know. And you guys can be a part of the journey with me that, you know, I don't know how early I should start testing. Like how do you guys really want to see me test multiple times or do you just want to see me test once i don't know you guys comment down below let me know what kind of test you want to see me do and how often i should be doing it last time when i got pregnant i did start testing because it was my first time officially like TTCing, and i was so so anxious to see if my tubal reversal actually worked <coughs> i'm so anxious that i'm just like okay like i just i went test happy and I was testing at like five days out and six days out I wasted some pregnancy tests I did and that's when I went through all those clear blue ones and then the first I had a few first response not many but the clear blue ones worked just fine for me I bought them in a package at Costco you got four in the package for fourteen ninety something now it's no longer that price it's like 20 bucks so uh, I decided to test early I'm gonna start using the dollar store one so the funny the funny thing is I used all like those expensive one and tested and nothing came up and then the actual month when I was pregnant or the on the day when I actually was pregnant because I used them all up at the early in the early stages because it was way too early to test and like I said I was so new to it it was my first time ever TTCing and I didn't really know what the heck I was doing I realize now that it's all too soon like even six days post I know some women say they get six days they can get a reading I don't know. It just seems a little early for me. But last time on the eighth day mark, I did test and it was actually using the dollar store one and it said I was pregnant and it was like very faintly positive. So that's why I'm using these ones. I am getting the, T the Amazon TTC kit. It's the thing is I didn't use a lot of it last time, kind of pack it after using it. And I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to TTC immediately. I kind of sent it off. I gave it to, a, I gave it to someone. And, um, yeah, now I am, now I am, uh, testing again and I don't have it. So I'm going to order it online. I'm going to be ordering that, that one, but for now I would, but, ah, don't spill it. Oh, it scared me. I going to spill the whole thing of Puff Puffs. But for now I am going to be, I'm just using the dollar store one, but I'm going to be ordering the Amazon one. Uh... But I'm going to be smarter this time around. Like I said, the earliest I'll probably start testing is eight days post. I think six days is really early. I don't think I'm going to be testing six days post. And I'm going to, if you guys want me to start to do them live, and it, like if you want me to do every time I test live, let me know. I know that's like a bit much, but I don't know if you guys want me to. If you don't, if you want me to, it's not a big deal, but I don't mind filming it and sharing it here I might I'm gonna be I, the one thing I need to do is to just remain I don't know steadfast and 
to get my mind right in um, trusting in God that this is what he wants for our family. This is what, you know, hubby and I want. And we think it would be great, especially for baby girl, for her to have a sibling. And last time around, I, you know, just the fact that I untied the t my tubes and I didn't know if it really worked. I was so anxious and I was in a totally different space. And I just kept feeling like, but I was, but I was trusting in God. And I felt like that was the strongest my faith was it or it has ever been like, I just trusted that this is, this is what he wanted for us. And I still kind of feel, I, I feel that I do feel that, but I just don't now that I have one. And then you hear other, other stories. The thing is like you hear certain things and it just throws you off. You don't, I don't want to get in my head from hearing other people's story. I just, you know what I mean? Like I, it's important for us to stay in our lane. We all have our own journey. We all have our own relationship with God and we should be putting our trust in him and what he has for us. So that's what I'm trying to do is to remember that he has a plan for us and his plan is been, has been there before I even know what a plan... Oh, you're hungry? Before I even knew what a plan was. And so I just got to keep that in mind. So in the midst of my journey, I'm not fretting and worrying about stuff that's out of my own control. Um, I'm going to be, I have a series of videos coming up for this, you guys. Yeah. This is what you wanted. You wanted booby. This is what you wanted. I have a f series of videos coming up for you guys. Some are pre-recorded. Some, um, no, oh, hold on. Some are pre-recorded, uh, fun ones that, you know, my has I've done either with my husband or with my sister or my, or the kids challenges and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for those videos. I will be posting them in between, you know, this, cause I will, I have so many questions pertaining to TTCing. And I also have just a few topics that I want to talk about on here for real, for real. So for those of you who are following me for my TTC journey, thank you so much for tagging along and for, um, you know, being supportive and stay tuned for the videos that I have on this topic. And like I said, um, I hope you guys enjoy the little things in between that are the little things that are sprinkled in between. They're more like there are challenges and vlogs and little tags and things like that, that are still, you know, essential, essential part of the zebra tribe fam. So I hope you guys are enjoying our channel and thank you so much for watching. Much love y'all. Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>